Green field engineering. This is the term generally referred for building the new plant, new process plant. It could be of oil and gas, petrochemical or refineries. When you refer green field engineering, that indicates that you are developing something from zero, something from scratch. So that is known as green field engineering is about. Green field engineering is generally done in three stages. One is concept design, then feed, front end engineering design and third is detail engineering. So these are the three stages all greenfield projects are go through that is because of the cost. So when you do design in these three stages you will be able to save a lot of cost otherwise you will have to do a lot of mistakes and you will not be able to take out that cost which is invested for that mistake. So it is wise to do three stages in order to ensure that you can implement build something which is economical at low cost. So what is concept design? Concept design is basically where the ideas are developed into a process scheme and you will finalize the plot size and you will ensure that this concept is feasible. For example, if you have an idea and it is not feasible, you don't have a plot, then there is no uh, purpose of going to the next stage. So you will have to finalize your concept and ensure that it is feasible and ensure that the plot is allotted for that one. So that is a concept design. Once concept design is finalized, then you will have to move to the feed design. What is feed? Feed is known to be a front end engineering design where you will have to do at least 30 to 40 percentage of detail engineering over here. It starts from developing the full scale PFD, full scale PNID with a uh, lines which are less than uh, 3 inch and 4 inch may not be included but this is a stage where you will do enormous process study process calculations and you will finalize plot plan you will finalize the pipe rack planning pipe rack orientation and prepare uh, MOCs and prepare material classes you will list out equipments long lead items and prepare the specifications of the equipments what are the types of equipments, what are the specifications, the preliminary data sheets will be uh, prepared. All these things will be done in the feed. Feed is a stage where you will complete your conceptual line routing, you will finalize the rack size, you will ensure that how many tires of rack needs to be planned and whether the primary rack needs to be there, secondary rack needs to be there, equipment locations are 100% finalized in the feed stage. In detailing stage, you will have only minor variations for the equipment arrangement. You will have to ensure the nozzle orientation of the equipments. Concept preliminary nozzle orientations will be finalized during the feed stage. And you will have to 100% prepare the material specification like pipe material spec basically. And prepare the specifications of the support, prepare the specification for painting, insulations and everything. Prepare bulk MTOs so that when you go to the detailing stage, you can issue the bulk MTO for procurement and you have to prepare the long lead items. So all these items needs to be prepared in the feed stage. Basically, you have to understand feed stage in a conceptual way that is a preparatory design. Preparatory design better than the concept design where your line size will be almost finalized where your um, configurations uh, of uh, line routing with respect to the thermal expansions needs to be considered and accordingly the space and accessibility operability of the equipment needs to be finalized all these things will be finalized in the feed so once the feed is completed the feed package will be delivered so the client will decide whether the feed package needs to be detailed or not because based on the feed package the cost will be developed the purpose of doing these three stages like a concept and feed and detail engineering is to ensure that the client is within the budget or not. For example, when you do the conceptual stage, you will prepare certain assumptions, you will assume certain factors and based on which some cost will be derived. If the cost is above the client budget, then they will not go for the feed. Likewise, they will prepare the cost for the feed considering all material cost, structural cost, support cost, piping cost, equipment cost, insulation, painting, every cost will be listed in the feed stage. And the, these calculated cost will be uh, assessed against the budget allotted for the client. 
if the cost is more then we will have to do some changes in the design so that we can bring the cost down or we may have to minimize the design so that in phase wise we can execute like phase one we can execute this phase two we can execute this phase three we can execute likewise design needs to be prepared so the intention of going for different stages is cost so for the conceptual also cost will be uh, prepared and once it is approved we will move to the feed once the cost is approved then the client will float this feed package in the market any engineering contractor will quote for this feed in order to produce a design the final design is basically detail engineering what we do in detail engineering in detail engineering we have to remove all the hold informations right from equipments right from valves right from specialty items like supports stress analysis needs to be finalized all informations right from all size of lines half an inch one inch three four inch all line size needs to be finalized detail engineering is something where you will prepare the afc package afc package not only with equipments you will have to finalize equipments plot plan piping ga sectional drawings isometrics pipe supports empty bore mr everything needs to be finalized everything needs to be finalized in order to deliver the afc package which is known as approved for construction so during this detail engineering you will have multiple stages of progress of design you will have to do the design review you will have to do the model review you will have to do the hazard review generally design review is done when the design is evolved 30 percentage and when design reviews are done then model review is done for 30 percentage then we will have to do the hazard when hazard is done then 60 percent model review should be done so both design review comments and hazard comments needs to be incorporated in the design after that 90 percent model review will be done when 90 percent model reviews are completed that indicates that your design is 100 percent completed remaining 10 percentage of model review is only to ensure the minor dimensional errors and minor changes due to the finalization of the dimensions or due to the issues regarding the constructions or due to the as built requirements so these are the uh, requirements that we will put in the last 10 percentage but when the design and the model review is completed for 90 percentage which means that your design is 100 percentage ready and you will have to issue the afc package with 100 percent details so this is the process of detail engineering in detail engineering you will have to coordinate with uh, other disciplines for inputs in various stages continuously continuous follow-up is required actually for all the inputs that is going to drive your deliverable you will also have to support for other disciplines like civil you will have to provide the pipe supports you will have to share the loads from the stress analysis you will have to coordinate with the cna instrumentation electrical for underground layouts and cable trenching um, routings all these things needs to be coordinated as much as possible in order to finalize your afc drawings so that is the stages that we generally do in the detail engineering so these are the three stages in greenfield projects every greenfield project will go through these stages concept design feed and detail engineering i will meet you in another fantastic video until then bye from subhash chandra